where does the quadratic formula even come from? Well, simply put, it's a result of moving around the terms of a standard quadratic equation in order to get x on one side and no x, only the coefficients of the terms on the other side. And we can very easily try this ourselves. First, we move over the constant here and divide everything by the coefficient of the squared term in order to get a lonely squared term. x squared plus b over ax is equal to minus c over a. From here, it does us no good if we move over b over ax to the other side and then take the roots of everything, because then we have not isolated x. We still have x on the right-hand side. However, there is a very neat trick we can do called completing the square. Notice, adding what expression will make the left-hand side a perfect square binomial? Well, look at this. We divide b over a by 2 and then square it. So we get b over 2a squared as our term. And so we can then, by adding this b over 2a to the expression, b over 2a squared, and also on the left-hand side, we can factor this into a perfect square binomial. And here we can open it up as well. Now I can factor this in order to get x plus b over 2a quantity squared. And from there, we, can, we are able to take the square root of both sides once we have simplified the right-hand side. So let's quickly do that. We convert to a common denominator. We get minus 4ac over 4a squared. And the rest, we add them together. We get b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. And now finally, we can do our move of taking the root of both sides. We get that x plus b over 2a is equal to the positive and negative root of b squared minus 4ac over here. We can, this is already a perfect square. We take the root of that, that is 2a. And so finally, we get that x is going to be the positive and negative root of b squared minus 4ac minus b over 2a, simply by moving over our last term to the other side. And just like that, the quadratic formula is derived. Now you know 